Hey everybody, I'm Matt Timms and I'm back here with another fantastic guide ready for you. Today I want to show you how to sync your ClickFunnels and your Infusionsoft account. Um, so let's go ahead and just dive right in. I won't explain any further. So ClickFunnels, um, the way I use it at least, it's primarily for the front end funnels, the landing pages, upsells, sales pages, etc, etc. Um, so the the way they sync is through web forms. Um, I believe you can use a landing page within Infusionsoft, but they are primarily synced with um, the web form. So uh, make sure you know what web form. So in this case, we're going to say PMT Voicing Guide Opt-in is what. Um, is what I'm going to be using. So then I'm going to come over here to my ClickFunnels um, and then go into Edit Page, the yellow Edit Page button. And then once the page loads, this is the page that I'm using to sync with this form. When you're on this page, then you come up here to Settings. So you can see Settings and then go down to Integrations. Um, and make sure you have your integrations set up in your actual account before you come here. Um, but then once it's here, if it's already set up, then go ahead and click your Infusionsoft account name, whatever that is. Um, and in this case, I'm going to be using a web form. So I will select a web form on that drop down. And then finally, the bottom drop down, it says list. But what it's really asking for is the form name. Um, so what did I say? PMT voicing guide opt-in on a big list there. So that's exactly what I'm going to be choosing. If you don't see it, you just made it. Go ahead and just click that refresh list from API button right there at the bottom, and it will be able to find your stuff. No problem. And as soon as you do, you can just click over here. Make sure you click save, or it will not save, and it will sync poorly, and it won't actually sync at all. So once you click save, then that is done. That's ready to go. Anybody that fills out this form, in this case, I have a pop-up. So anybody that um, fills out this pop-up will automatically be synced over to this form. And then we'll follow this sequence, this arrow down into this sequence. Um, the important thing that you should do right away is you should add a tag the moment they get in here. I always do one for newsletter and then one for that specific event. The reason, um, the reason I'm doing that, especially for future orders, is what you'll see is in this funnel, um, in this specific funnel, I have, as soon as there's a free lead magnet like I just showed you, then there's a sales page. Um, which I won't show you. There's no syncing in there. It's just me making an upsell. Um, and then if they get there and then also click to the next page, which is the actual order form, um, then I am going to go ahead and sync that as well. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky if you're not paying close attention. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do... So Practical Chords 101, that's what the product is called. This is the order form, so I'm going to go in here. I've created a Practical Chords 101 purchase. So this is the, the um, it's not an order form in Infusionsoft, it's just a web form. Um, so it's just a web form there. And then oh, back over into ClickFunnels, what I'm going to do is the same idea. Here's the whole, here's the whole order form. I'm going to come back over here, same way we did before. Integrations, find your Infusionsoft account, select a web form, and then this time I'm going to go down to um, the name of it, Practical Chords 101 Purchased. That's the form. So again, click out, and then click Save, or it will get lost. And then as soon as somebody fills out this form, fills out their credit card information, and clicks Complete My Order, um, there is there's a spot that I won't go into when you're setting up the product 
in ClickFunnels. I'll make another video on that for you, but there's a spot that when you set up the product, you can have the product sync to an order form as well. Um, but this is just going to be for the, um, just kind of the autoresponder series. So what I'm gonna do now is that syncs to this form and what you'll see is immediately I add a tag in there. The reason I do that is because most of the time if somebody opts in for my lead magnet, this top option here, smooth keyboard voicing, if they opt in for that but do not immediately purchase this, my emails that follow this, this lead magnet are gonna continually be pushing people toward um, back toward this offer of the Practical Words 101, the actual product. So as soon as they sign up for Lead Magnet, they're gonna be getting a bunch of emails in this series, you can see the X there. In this series, after they get that, they're gonna be getting a bunch of emails about Practical Chords 101, trying to get them to sell, even though they didn't get it immediately. My goal is to provide a lot of value in here. And then, first thing, again, in this sequence, after they actually purchased it, I'm gonna be adding a tag that says um, Chords 101 purchased. And then here's the tricky part. If this autoresponder has a lot of emails about trying to sell them on this product, you don't need to show them all those emails if they just purchased. So what I do is I put a goal at the end and the goal is that a tag is applied. Um, tag can be applied to anybody in here. And the tag is going to be, as you can see, um, PMT Chords 101 purchased. So as soon as this gets filled out, they go into this, they go, this gets filled out, they go into this sequence and get the PMT 101, the Chords 101 purchased tag applied. As soon as they get it applied there, it pulls them out of this sequence. They don't need to be upsold on a sequence. Uh, they don't need to be sold on a product that they just bought. So it gets pulled out of that. Um, if you have one autoresponder that is simply trying to get them to use the guide and another one that's actually selling them on the next product, you can separate those and only do the tag applied. Um, one extra trick, this isn't directly related to ClickFunnels, but it's um, semi-new in Infusionsoft. That's kind of a bonus hack for some of you. They have a um, web page automation. This is how I do a lot of abandoned cart stuff. It doesn't work, this method at least, doesn't work um, immediately on the upsell. But if you're using this sequence here to upsell them back to Chords 101, as soon as they click on one link in this email, Infusionsoft adds a cookie to their browser. And then what you do here is you have the goal that starts this abandoned cart be the web page automation. You drop this little snippet into this page, and I'll show you here in a second, same spot that we do. Um, so there's a sales page. All of my emails in that sequence are sending them to the sales page. Then the moment they go from an Infusionsoft email to anything that also lands on the actual order form, in the order form, I'm gonna put that Infusionsoft um, code snippet that we talked about. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and put it in tracking code section. As you can see, I already have it installed there. Um, this sends a signal back to Infusionsoft that says, hey, if someone's got the Infusionsoft cookie and they're in this page, go ahead and add them into the sequence. So, if they went after they've been in your system, um, if they cl have clicked on any Infusionsoft link or any Infusionsoft email and somehow end up on the, the order form page but do not purchase, they're going to get dropped in here. That This sequence for me that just says, hey, I saw you were on the order form. I saw you were ready to buy, but you didn't quite finish it. What can I do? What can I do to help? And this is another instance. We're going to do the same thing that we had up here. The goal at the end is that the tag, the purchased tag is applied and they are pulled out of that sequence as soon as they make the purchase because they don't need to be, they didn't actually forget. This is gonna trigger the moment they're on that page, um, not once they leave it. So they're gonna, it's gonna trigger as soon as they show up on this page, whether they buy it or not. So that's why it's important 
Um, I always put a delay time in here. I assume if someone's on that page and doesn't buy for 19 minutes, um, I just put 19 because it's a very human number. It's imperfect. It's not going to feed like a system. They're going to get an abandoned cart email. But if within 90 minutes they go on this page and also make the purchase, they're going to get pulled out of that sequence so they don't get that that abandoned cart email any longer. Um, so if you are using Infusionsoft and you're ready to jump on ClickFunnels, I have two awesome offers for you. Um, I was able to hook up a 14-day free trial for you. I will leave my special link for you in the description of this video. Um, and also, if you'd like this basic template of a lead magnet, sales page, order form, and then just a product thank you page or product download page, I will also put this funnel in the description of this video that you can download and you can use, you can change things up to your liking. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. But make sure you start your 14 day free trial of ClickFunnels so that you can see how well you can get your Infusionsoft hooked up with ClickFunnels. I think they work fantastic together. I live for having the front end of ClickFunnels and the back end of Infusionsoft. I think it's the most powerful combination on the market that I know of in this at this moment. So go ahead and grab your ClickFunnels 14 day free trial at the link in the description or go ahead and grab this funnel even if you don't have an account yet, go ahead and grab this funnel. Both links are in the description. And let me know what you think about this video. If it was helpful, I'd love for you to hit the like button. Um, if you like what I'm doing, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel and get more helpful tutorials along the way. So until next time, I hope you enjoy ClickFunnels, and I will see you in my next video. See you later. Bye-bye.